It's been reported that the Chinese Communist Party are operating police stations in the United States in an effort to surveil Chinese dissidents. It seems obvious the U.S. shouldn't allow its most significant geop geopolitical rival and oppressive communist regime to establish police stations in the U.S. What authority or jurisdiction does the CCP have in the U.S.? And I don't know which one when it testifies. Well, Senator, uh, like you, I'm very concerned about this. Um, we are aware of the existence of these stations. I have to be careful about discussing our specific investigative work, but to me it is outrageous uh, to think that the Chinese police would attempt to set up shop you know, in New York, let's say, without proper coordination. It violates sovereignty and, and circumvents uh, standard judicial and law enforcement uh, cooperation processes. And the reason the reason this is so important is because we have seen a clear pattern of the Chinese government, the Chinese Communist Party, exporting their, trans, their repression right here into the U.S. And we've had now a number of indictments that you may have seen of the Chinese engaging in uncoordinated law, quote unquote, law enforcement action right here in the United States, harassing, stalking, surveilling, blackmailing uh, people who they just don't like or disagree with the, the Xi regime. Uh, and so it's a real problem and it's something that we're talking with our, our foreign partners about as well because we're not the only country where this is, uh, has occurred. Can you, do they, they don't have any right to be here, right? Well, we're looking into the legal parameters of it. Um, so I want to be a little bit careful to get, not to get out over my skis on that, but I, suffice to say, I can tell you from an FBI director perspective, I'm deeply concerned about this, uh, and I'm not going to just let it lie. Okay. Secretary, does, that, does it impact Homeland Security at all? Well, of course, the, uh, the threat of China is uh, <clears throat> one of the most right. significant threats that we face in the homeland. It's not only a matter of national security, it's a matter of homeland security in a number of arrays. Uh, in a number of areas of our mission. Do you, th do you think you have the ability to shut them down? Do you, have the, do you know if you have the right to shut them down? Uh, the, the, I, I would have to defer to the Department of Justice with respect to the It would go, it would go to authority. justice, not Homeland Security? Okay. So it would be under FBI? Well, or to, to the extent that the remedies might be uh, some part of the Justice Department outside the FBI, that, that could also be a possibility. And then there may be a State Department dimension to this that we're looking into. So when you know they're here, do you, have the, do you know if they're surveilling U.S. citizens? Do you know that yet? Do you have enough information to know if they are? Well, again, I don't, I don't want to get too far into our ongoing investigative work, but as I said, we have seen plenty of situations, plenty of situations in the past where the Chinese government, under the pretext right. of uh, going after corruption uh, have essentially used that as a, a vehicle to surveil. We've had situations where they've planted bugs inside Americans' cars, uh, for example. And, and one of the things that we're seeing more and more is them hiring private investigators here in the U.S. to essentially be their, uh, their agents, if you will, to conduct some of this work. So. Uh, this is something we're trying to call out, and it's important that Chinese Americans and Chinese dissidents who are here know to call the FBI to report when they think they may have been targeted with this so conduct. Because you, uh, you probably can't talk about it in here. I'd like to get a classified briefing on what they're doing. 